Today I'm in one of Glasgow's hidden gems. I'm in the Zoology Museum, which is part of the Hunterian Museum at the University of Glasgow. So I'm off to meet Hayley Douglas, who's going to tell us a wee bit more about the museum and show us some of our favourite exhibits. Let's go. And I'm with the lovely Hayley. Hayley, first of all, love the t-shirt. It's <laughs> animal-tastic, <laughs> really, really cool. But tell us a wee bit about the museum. Where are we actually standing? We're actually in the Zoology Museum, part of Glasgow University, and this is where the students come to study. It's also open to the public to come and have a wee look as well. And it's a great place because when you're a student and you come through the doors for the first time and you think, right, I'm doing zoology, I'm going to learn everything about wildlife, to actually have some of the animals that you're going to be learning about really really beneficial. So we've got loads of different species in here, you've got birds, you've got mammals, you've got everything but you've got some that are massive. Tell us a wee bit about what else is in here. Well we've got the African elephant skull, there's an Indian elephant skeleton, we've got a leatherback turtle, there's a clam, there's the big uh, snake up in the corner oh, as yeah. well and we've got casts of some of the animals as well so there's manatees, there's casts of the baleen whales, there's loads of different things. So there's so much to see but you've got a few favourite exhibits yeah. you can go and show us now? Yep, certainly. Let's go! So what exhibit are we standing beside just now? We're looking at the honey badger, it's one of the, the few animals that are in here that I actually particularly like. And this is our badger's smaller cousin. Okay. So you can see it looks quite big there, but it's actually smaller than our badger. Okay. And you can see it's got really big claws. Oh, and nice. this guy is basically a weasel with attitude. They don't take any stick. They'll chase lions, they'll chase jackals. You know, they just walk around. You can imagine, you know, a Glasgow hard man with a swagger. This is a honey badger for you, you know. They just go in and get what they want. <laughs> The Glasgow hard man of the animal world, the honey badger. So we've met the honey badger, but who is behind us? Well, this is the marsupial cabinet. So a lot of people go to Australia because the wildlife's really weird. You know, it's yeah. been isolated. And we're looking at the marsupials behind us. So you've got things like the koalas and the wallabies and things like spotted quoll. Okay. But in Australia as well, you actually get two unique animals which are members of the monotremes. So these are the only monotremes in the entire world. And basically, they look like mammals, but they lay eggs. Oh, right. And this is the duckbill platypus. And the one that people maybe don't know as well is the spiny echidna or the short beaked echidna. So they really are kind of like a mix between the two then? Yeah, I mean, they are quite strange animals. When the duckbill platypus was brought back to the UK, people looked at it and thought, this is a load of nonsense. You've just cut up a load of animals and stitched it together. Really? It wasn't until they were actually seen alive in the wild that people were like, wow, these are actual real animals because you don't expect a furry animal to have a beak. I don't think there's anything that Healy does not know. In fact, <laughs> should we go and continue exploring? Yeah, let's go. I heard there's some tarantulas. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> let's see what we've got.